Hey, Del Nachos crew, great question. I'm a dental nachoer who's losing sleep over a bank pressuring this dental nachoer into getting the loan for practice pre-COVID. This is problematic on many levels. Sharing stories is important. We all can learn great thread here. As a practice broker myself, as a practice buyer myself, I live part of this world every day, and right now it's super confusing. Let me share. I have practiced deals that were set to close around March and April that are now on pause. What are banks doing? Banks are all over the map with this. Some of them have totally paused. Some are trying to get deals through. Some are saying we need to reevaluate after the practice is open for a few months, which to me makes the most sense, or not just sense, not just sense, the most amount of sense. So in this scenario here that you guys are talking about, it's totally normal for this buyer to be concerned. It's a responsible concern. It's not a fear. Nobody knows exactly what is gonna happen after dentistry open backs up, backs up. So why not let the practice operate for a few months and see what happens? Managing expectations is key. Talking with the seller and being kind but firm, sharing your why. If someone doesn't understand that, it might not be the right deal for you. Also, it's a Sunday. Uh, later today, we're having a CE on TV uh, show on job finding, which is awesome. Just text APPS to 55444. Or even better, finally, 